Hey, what's up guys? John here. New laws are now being worked on to make this come true. 80% of all cars being ripped off of the roads in America in the next six years. Car payments are also accelerating towards record levels. The average monthly payment for a new vehicle is now more than $700 a month and more than $550 a month for a used one. Many Americans are having trouble making the monthly payments. Subprime borrowers were at least now 60 days late rose by 6.1% in September. That's the highest level since 1994. So only the top 20% of Americans will own a vehicle. This isn't an opinion. This is a fact. This has been worked on for a while. For example, only 20% of Americans will own a car in 15 years. May 4th, 2017. This is Business Insider reporting on this. By 2030, nearly no one in the U.S. may own a personal car. Instead, most Americans would hail self-driving electric ride shares to get around because we're walking into a world where it's the have-nots, which is 80%, and then the have-yachts, which is going to be those that have cars, that travel, freely do whatever they want, live a really, really great, amazing life. That's where we're actually going. Forbes reported that the number of passenger vehicles on American roads will go from 247 million in 2020 to 44 million in the next six years. Private car ownership will drop 80% by you know, in the next six years, right? So this is Forbes magazine reporting on this. I'm gonna show you how this whole thing connects because maybe you have kids you have to drive to school. Maybe you have a job that requires a car for you to drive to work. Maybe you have goals and without a vehicle, you're unable to achieve these goals. I wanna show you how this is all gonna work out so you can, you know, put yourself in that 20% to keep your car. Please hit the like button, hit the like button, people share this content to help other people understand where we're really going in our economy. And if you'd like to fix your credit to position yourself, what I believe is gonna be the greatest wealth transfer ever, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any issue on your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com, click the link in the description just below this video, schedule a free call. Look at this. Newsweek, for decades, car ownership has been a trademark of the American lifestyle with vehicles becoming symbols of freedom, independence, and even rebellion. It's rebellious in a car, right? It's ridiculous. As well as necessity. But in 2024, the country's legendary love story with the automobile appears to have reached a crucial point of potential no return. As cars have become unaffordable for millions, life has generally gotten more expensive in the aftermath of the pandemic, including cost of cars, insurance, and repairs. Now, here's how this is all gonna work. Presently, the average American has a car loan of 125% loan to value. That means if the car is $50,000, they owe $62,500. So they're underwater $12,500 on a $50,000 purchase. Then when you have 100 million Americans with an auto loan, most of which you know are getting five, six year terms, four year terms, and they bought their cars during the peak 2020, 2021, most of which are underwater, right? And when you have car prices, used vehicle prices give up 55% of pandemic spike, historic plunge and crazy after crazy spike. Not only are they underwater 25%, but they're underwater all of the losses here. This 55% that they've already given up on the pandemic spike. For example, used EV prices plummet 32% as Tesla prices impact industry, came out 19 hours ago, 32% of the value already given back. Meaning they owe 25, they have a loan 25% above value. Then they give up another 25%. I mean, they're underwater 50% on that car, right? People are going out to their, you know, their driveway. They're going out to their garage, going out to the apartment parking lot, realizing, hey, you know, I got this car. I paid 50,000 for it. Maybe it's worth 30, right? I'm paying into this, you know, this big hole. Why am I gonna pay on this car that I can barely afford that I'm never gonna get my money out of it, right? And so what are people gonna do? They're gonna give the keys back. They're gonna give the keys back to the lender and they're gonna walk away. Average used Ford price is down 5% from last year. Came out today, 12, 29 p.m. Rivian, they are halting construction of a $5 billion plant right now and they are issuing massive layoffs and the cost cutting is continuing. Came out just a couple days ago, March 6th. Right? Then you have Tesla. They're, look at this. They already gave up 28.9%. Alfa Romero, 13.3%. This is year over year. Maserati, 9%. Lincoln, 8.2%. Volvo, 7.9%.
It goes on and on and on. These car prices are just getting absolutely crushed right now. Absolutely crushed. As that's happening, car payment defaults hit nearly a three-decade high, a 29-year high as borrowing costs surge. This came out October 23, 9, or 2023, right? So, you know, four months ago. So you can imagine this number is probably only going to continue to increase as this affordability crisis gets worse. Then you have car insurance, you know, in going through the roof. They found a... What's very, very interesting about car insurance now is it's getting so crazy that Americans are trying to find ways in which they can save money. And one way in which they can save money is that they will say, you know, download this app. If you have this app, we'll track your driving for a month or two months. We'll confirm that you're a safe driver and then uh, we'll be able to reduce your rates. And millions of Americans are jumping on this saying, yes, this is amazing. But what, they're, what they don't realize is when they sign up for these programs, these car insurance companies take your data they accumulate it like Facebook, and then they sell this data to car manufacturers, to car dealers, to lenders. They sell it to car insurance companies. They sell it across the board. And they make a fortune on this data. And so Americans are being, you know, they're getting, you know, really taken advantage of by this. They don't, they don't realize what's actually going on. But what's going to be really fascinating, look at this, for example. Auto insurance jumps 20.6% over the past year, outpacing inflation. Well, they say inflation percent, 4%. To say it's outpacing it, it's up five, six hundred percent above inflation, above their numbers in which they are reporting, right? So inflation is going parabolic. Repairs are getting absolutely crazy. They're getting so expensive, and uh, and what many Americans don't realize is that car insurance is these increases that we've been seeing. It's nothing compared to where we're actually going. Electric cars to cause increase in car insurance prices. They say that with electric cars set to take over the automotive market in a few years, the overall value of car premiums is expected to increase 2.1 times in the next six years as prices go up. According to a study carried out by the consulting firm, Capgami and presented, with electric cars connected to autonomous vehicles increasing arrival on the market, purchase and repair costs will soar, which will be reflected in premiums as an eight-fold increase is expected in the next six years, although internal combustion vehicle premiums will also increase by 40%, right, in the next six years. It'll be the new type of vehicles that will drive up prices. So you think about how this is, let me look at this. This is market watch. How car insurance varies depending on climate. As the effects of climate become more severe, the cost of in car insurance will increase due to the necessity of different kinds of coverage, right? So you're gonna see these rates continue to go through the roof. And uh, I mean, and when you have car insurance that's required by law in 49 of the 50 states, 49 of the 50 states, what you're gonna see here is rates go up, and as rates go up, and, and, I mean, the car payments right now are 729 bucks a month, rates go up and oil prices go up, the administration plans to eliminate fossil fuels as a form of energy generation in the next six, or in the next uh, you know, 11 years. White House sets a target of 80% renewable by uh, in the next six years and 100% carbon free. So think about this. If gas prices are going to go up, the cost of repair vehicle is going to go up, insurance is going to go parabolic. How are people going to hold on to these cars that you know have dropped 30, 40, 50% value so far? You have to realize that dealers are going to have, it's going to be a game of survival of the fittest in the automotive industry. People are going to start giving back their keys and dealers are going to need to fire sale this inventory. And if there's only a small pool of buyers that are ready, willing, and able to go buy a car in this environment, and there's more sellers, you're going to see a, a buyer's market. A big opportunity to go out there and buy uh, vehicles based on uh, extremely depressed prices. And as that begins to worsen, people are going to look at their car out front and say, you know what, forget it. I'm not paying on this car. I'm just not going to do it. And that's what's going to happen. So if you want to drive a vehicle going forward, the next you know, six years, if you want to be a part of that 20%, make sure you don't have a car payment because interest rates are likely going to remain higher for much, much longer. I don't see a Fed pivot anytime soon. Make sure you can afford the insurance that's going to you know, continue to rise and make sure you can afford the car parts because what we're walking into, as I mentioned earlier, it's a game of the have-nots and the have-yachts. You want to put yourself in a position to where you have the flexibility, you have the money, you have the capital, and you have the options to be a part of that 20%. Drop below, love to hear your opinion about this entire situation. I think this is gonna be one of the greatest rug pulls in American history and one of the greatest bubbles we'll ever witness. Please hit the like button, hit the like button, you can share the content. And if you'd like to fix your credit to position yourself for this massive 
wealth building opportunity. We'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any negative item in your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free strategy session for Wednesday, and I'll catch you next video.